I started playing casually about five or six years ago and got into tournament play uh, probably about three years ago. That was once I moved to Charlotte, I uh, definitely got into uh, disc golf a little bit more seriously. There's a big scene down there, so it definitely gets the competitive spirit going. I travel a lot for work, uh, so I, it definitely varies depending on where I am. Um, but I try to get in at least three or four rounds a week. Uh, for me right now, um, I don't have any real goals beyond just trying to have fun, do well, um, and just play, you know, play as best I can. Um, you know, it's tough not getting to practice as much as I'd like to, but I definitely still feel like I can be competitive and, and have fun doing it. I've probably got about 15 aces. The one that sticks out is probably the first one ever. Uh, we were playing our home course and my buddy was on the phone talking to, you know, talking to one of our friends. I threw a shot and didn't even know it went in and we started walking to the hole and all of a sudden I kind of said, I think my disc is in the basket. So it was pretty neat and it's always something that I'll probably remember for a while. Uh, definitely to have fun. Um, you're always going to struggle if you're not out having fun uh, and you know try new things whether you you know watch videos on YouTube or you know ask some other players on the course um, just try new things and find out what works for you because what works for you may not be you know the same as somebody else so it's experimenting and, and figuring out you know what is uh, you know what works best for you uh, I support Dynamic Disc. Um, I met Jeremy a few years ago, um, and we've been been good friends since. And I think he runs great tournaments. Um, you know, he supports disc golf as a whole, and he's got some cool stuff, cool shirts, cool dyes. Um, you know, and he's always willing to support um, you know those people out there trying to do you know good for disc golf. So 